In the Rio Islands uh, cluster, uh, we have planted our uh, Anglican churches. Yeah. One is in Tanjung Pinang, another one is uh, in Paloy Karimun, and we have uh, three Anglican churches here in Batam, uh, Church of the True Light, uh, St. Matthew Church, and uh, Church of the Good Shepherd Batam. So we do not only uh, run uh, or plant churches in the Riau Islands, but also uh, we provide education uh, for the children in Pasam and Riau Islands. Uh, St. Andrew School Batam, a uh, preschool Batam is a place that uh, so many children here. And we have uh, classes like uh, toddlers, nursery, and until now, we have uh, around uh, 80 children here. The children do uh, many activities in here, and fun activities, of uh, course, is about they learn about uh, the themes we have prepared for, for the school. Uh, all the teachers is, uh, the, we have, yeah, we, that we have that are good teachers, then they have a lot of experience before they come to join to the preschool, St. Andrew Preschool Batam. I have enjoyed become a teacher first, uh, deal, dealing with the kids, the children, the students, uh, to transfer now my knowledge with my creativity. It's not only in theory, we have to become a role model first. Um, to influence people's mindset is through what you're doing. And of course, it's not only in the surface performance, it's totally from your heart. This is not only about the word or job, but this is a God's calling to teach the children. Balai Kolam is the largest Swaras community in Batam. We have about 6,000 families living in this community. Uh, that means husband, wife and roughly about two kids. So all together, about 20,000 uh, souls living in this Balai Kolam community. The children, many of them, most of them even, they do not have their birth certificates. You know why? Because uh, the parents, their father and mother, they just live together without any legal marriage. So when they grow, uh, they have reached about seven years old and go to the primary schools, they uh, have difficulties because they do not have the birth certificates. For the children, we have been uh, running our children ministry, uh, uh, Anglican Kids. We have been doing the community work uh, to this community uh, for the past five years uh, through the medical missions and also food distribution. Our church, uh, of course, uh, we have not reached a Paris uh, status yet. Uh, we are still moving forward to be self-supporting uh, church. Hopefully also uh, by, if it is God's grace, you see, in uh, maybe uh, five years time, we will be able to be uh, a Paris. Yeah. One of the greatest needs in our church is that we actually need more trainings for our church members so that they will be more equipped uh, with certain skills uh, so that they can also uh, be more involved in the ministry and even not only that, uh, they will be equipped uh, with a certain skills for them also to be able to uh, work and also fulfill their daily needs. Yeah, this is what we are doing in our, our church, yeah, through the children ministry, youth ministry, uh, cell group ministries, uh, women's fellowship, men's fellowship. Try to uh, bring uh, many people, uh, the souls, into uh, God's kingdom. Uh, this is also our prayer that uh, through uh, all the schools that we have been running, uh, St. Andrew School Batam, St. Matthew School Batam, uh, Theodore 1 and Theodore 2, uh, the Lord will uh, send uh, more people to know Him, to know Christ as their Lord and Savior through the education.